We are currently living in a world guided by advances in technology. Technology allows us to keep track of as much information as we want. We can see the progress through days of our heartbeats with Apple Watch. We can check on Google the places we have been. We can see how many people liked our photo or social media. Basically, we can keep track of any data as we want. The question is, how can companies get this amount of data received by smartphones or other devices, and how can they work with this? There is one specific area specializing in it, called data science. Data science is an interdisciplinary field that uses statistics, scientific methods, artificial intelligence, and data analysis to extract value from data. It uses techniques and theories drawn from many fields within the context of mathematics and computer science. However, data science is different from computer science. A data scientist is someone who creates programming code and combines it with statistical knowledge to create insights from data. According to the BLS, a data scientist has an average annual salary of $126,000. You might be wondering, how can I become a data scientist with free resources online? We need a guide for you, check it out! If you want to become a data scientist, it is key that you have a strong foundation in Python. Although there are countless available online, most of them allow you to get away with just watching videos without doing any real work. This is why we recommend MIT Introduction to Computer Science using Python. It is the same course that students take at MIT. If you want to pass the course, you have to go through the possible but challenging problems that will test your comprehension of the material and force you to have a good understanding of the foundations of programming. The second course we recommend you do right after the MIT course is Python for Data Science at SoloLearn. This is a very gentle introduction to data science Python libraries. When dealing with data, you will have to manipulate, change and display it, and libraries such as Matplotlib, Pandas and NumPy will help you do just that. Then then, after finishing the SoloLearn tutorial, we suggest you do CS50 Artificial Intelligence. This is a challenging course that introduces you both to machine learning and broader AI topics. We strongly recommend you take it only after taking an introductory course from MIT or CS50 from Harvard, as it requires a solid background in programming. In this course, you will learn about neural networks, machine learning, natural language processing, among other topics that will get you more closer to a professional level of data science. Be patient with yourself, as this can easily take six months if you're taking it part-time and progressing through it consistently. The next course is Machine Learning by Andrew NG. This is one of the most famous and highly rated data science courses available on Coursera. This course, taught by Andrew NG, goes into much more details in machine learning than CS50 AI, although there are some overlapping topics. Andrew NG is one of the leading scientists in the field of machine learning, so be guaranteed there are not many people who know as much about the area as him. At this point, you will be prepared to apply for jobs since you will already have enough knowledge to add value to a company and learn new topics on the job. Consider as a follow-up course Deep Learning Specialization by Andrew NG, it is the icing on the cake. At this point, you will go much deeper into neural networks, sequence models, and hyperparameter tuning. You won't be required to know as much as you will learn in this course at most jobs, but you will be on your way to becoming a data science expert. If you want to know how you can become a programmer as fast as possible, schedule a free meeting with us. The link is in the description. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.